Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to start trying to get colors on the Mopa laser. Alright, so this is our GA30 from Monport, and uh, we've got a piece of stainless steel here, and we want to see what kind of colors it'll do, and there are so many settings that it's uh, a little overwhelming looking it up online, so I was going to go through uh, how we're going to figure it out with you. So one of the cool things here in Lightburn is that if you go up to Laser Tools, you can do a material test. What we're looking at here is that there's two columns that you can do, and this is what the grid is going to be your test grid. So left side vertical rows can be set here, horizontal rows can be set here. And you can adjust the count on how many boxes you're going to have. You get to adjust the parameter. You can do speed power, interval, passes, frequency, and Q-Pulse with uh, this particular laser. Q-Pulse is not going to show up if you don't have a MOPA. That's one of the special things for the MOPA. And what we're going to do, then you can do your min, your max, your height, your center, everything. That, so this is all how big it is, where the center of it is, and so you're going to set those two settings. You also can edit the material settings. So if you're doing speed, you want to set the speed because that's here. If you're doing power, you want to set the power. Same thing, frequency, pulse, passes, all of that. Line interval, same thing. So you want to adjust what you're actually going to change, or sorry, what you're not changing, you need to set in here, what you're not doing in your parameters. So these are kind of our generic starting settings. Um, and then we will adjust accordingly with parameters. So the first one, don't need speed and power. I'm going to keep those consistent. That's a different one probably if we ever go for just a jet black. We'll do speed and power and see what we get with that. And that one's going to take a long time, right? Because 100 millimeters a second is not fast. So if we were to do this in 10 and 10, that's going to be pretty slow, which you can preview eight minutes actually on that. All right, so the first one I want to do is black. We've been having trouble getting black. So I've seen different settings with speeds anywhere in the middle and power again low. What we're going to do is we're going to do five different power settings, 10 different speed settings, just 10 to 15 percent because I want to say most people say right around 35 percent is the best and then we're going 125 on frequency, 16 on Q pulse, 0.05 on interval. That's going to be, it says, just about an eight minute burn. So that's fun. We're going to frame that and adjust this over. We want to maximize the amount that we can get in the plate and then we will be able to run. Now one thing that I did forget to say is that you can edit the text settings and the border settings to where uh, it's labeling it, writing on it right, and like a thousand at fifty is probably fine but this is not the cue pulse we want or any of that and actually a bunch of this testing is going to figure out exactly what we want but we will go with similar settings we have on the other ones and we will see what that ends up giving us. This one will be slightly different which is fine. We'll see which one's better and which one's easier to read. So I'll preview that one more time. 755 that did not change. Framing it is exactly where we want it and right from the frame you can just hit start and uh, we'll see what the first one looks like. Okay, so here it is done. Did not take anywhere near the amount of time that it said. The writing is not dark enough, so we'll need to adjust that. However, we are starting to already see a little bit of color and color differences as it goes. So let's um, make some adjustments and then we'll do another pass. Okay, so I've done a bunch of different ones just playing around, uh, changing you know, cue pulse passes, frequencies, 
all of that and basically everything sticking to these golds a little bit of blues popping out on occasion um, so what I've done uh, is I'm gonna try another setting and I'm gonna mess with interval and see what that does and we're going real small interval to a still fairly small interval and we're just gonna do eight columns and see what the NS is. I looked up the machine and the Q pulse rating was I was like eight to five hundred and I don't know what all that's gonna do so we're gonna start at the bottom and we're just gonna keep trying to figure things out. Uh, it's all about testing from here there's gonna be a lot of it but we figured we'd record a few of them and see uh, what we learn and uh, let you guys know what we learn as well. All right, so here's what we're getting out of that. This is actually one of the darkest, blackest we've seen. There's soot all over it, so it might look better wiped off. Let's see. All right, yeah, that actually is by far the best black I think we've seen yet. Um, then you get start to get into some really cool colors, some purples, blues, greens, golds up here. So it makes me think that if you did passes on intervals more than once, it would be changing colors to what more what you're getting down here with the uh, really small intervals because it's overlapping each other like crazy as we found with the DPI that's definitely overlapping so it's got to be changing the colors and when we clean it off you can see it's got really good ones so really what I would probably do is just go nine and on and keep doing this and uh, figure out what colors you like what colors yours can do there's almost infinite settings in here because there's five or six different parameters so it's going to be hard to find the exact best one that's where we're going to stop at today though don't forget like and subscribe our discount code is always in the description if you have any questions let us know if you'd like to see something throw that down in the comments and we will see you next time